survival theory. If you watch a lot of YouTube survival videos, they always mention using a trash bag as a shelter. Now, if you're on a day hike or you get lost, you know, you're in a situation where you have to get a shelter up for the rain or spend the night, and all you've got is a trash bag for shelter, well, how do you do that? You can make a lean-to. You know, there's lots of things you can do, but today we're going to make a plow point out of it. That will keep us out of the rain. Um, it's going to provide more warmth than a lean-to, so let's get busy on that. One of the most important aspects of your shelter is the dangers around your shelter. A lot of pines here, a lot of dead pines. That equals widow makers. Limbs from above or just the whole tree knocking down. So I've chosen this area. I'm kind of away from the pines. And look right here. Here's a clear area. That's going to be a good sleep. It's, it's level. There's lots of leaves already there. No underbrush. I've got a tree right here and a tree right here. I can use just a little bit of cordage and set up a plow point with my trash bag. Now I've got here just a standard 55 gallon trash liner. If you've got a smaller one, well, you're just out of luck. You should always try to carry the largest possible. Now once you get this bag opened up, what you don't want to do is cut it with your knife in the wrong spot or gouge holes in it. Now what I like to do use a small knife but I don't open it until I get my hands all the way in there to the corner and then I'll open it up inside the bag then I can poke it through and pull the bag along that seam Because if you open up your knife and reach into that bag, it's very easy for that point to just go right through the bag. Now opening up this bottom part, I'll do the same thing. I'm going to fold that up so I can come here to this corner. Now I'll open my knife up. Start at this corner. Try to follow that seam. All right, there we go. So this is opened up. That's almost six feet tall by about four and a half feet high. I'm not sure, but that it's something like that. All right, so let's get busy. So here we have the trash bag opened up. Now it doesn't give you a lot of room, but it's a trash bag. It's an emergency shelter. If you need more room, bring a tarp. Now the most room is diagonal, of course. So we're going to put our head here and our feet towards that area and we might have to curl up so I'm going to line that up between these two trees I'll get some cordage run a ridge line and then we'll string up our tarp slash bag now because we were just out day hiking all we have is some cordage we don't have any stakes but that's no big deal first thing we'll do is get our cordage out and run it from tree to tree Probably just above the knees, but not much higher. So 
So at this end, about knee height, put a slip knot there. Got it tied over at that end with the trucker's hitch. Now, because it's a trash bag, it doesn't have grommets or loops on it. So we're going to need to find a pine cone, a small rock, or something to ball up inside of here and hold it. Here in this pine forest, I could find pine needles, but here's an almost rotten piece of wood. I can get this almost rotten piece of wood. Being careful not to cut myself, because that would make the situation worse than it already is. And we're just going to make a small piece here. that I can use to secure that top. There we go, here's one, here's two. All right, it's starting to rain, let's get busy. All right, so I've got a prussic knot here. Make sure you're not losing all these pieces, all these little pieces of rope. Make sure they're in your pockets every time you move. Or again, that'll make a bad situation worse. We'll just get this corner, get this little piece of wood in here. Bind it up like that. Now, I just need a little toggle right here. Here's a stick. That'll work just fine. All right, now I need to stake down the other end. Now again, we don't have stakes, so I just cut a small little sapling here. And I'm going to utilize how it has this cross piece right here and turn that into an, a stake. a large tree. Now I'll cut this branch off to a point. So now I've got a point for my stake and I've got this pointed as well. So when it stakes down I'm catching it in two places. It might help hold this trash bag better. Make sure I've got my knife back in my sheath. So let's pull this out. I'm going to double it over a little bit. Drive it in. And I'll use this. You see that? I'm going to use this Y here to drive it in a second spot. Drive it all the way in so it really catches that bag there. All right. So now let's get our middle raised up. I make sure I have slack over here. Where's the line? There's the line down the middle. Take my little bit of cordage loop, put it through there. Here we go. Now I need my toggle through the prussic. Use the leftover piece from that. Pull that kind of tight for my stake. Now let's pull this other end tight. There we go. Now we've got these corners. Let's get those staked down. We'll do the same thing. We'll get a branch and 
utilize these offshoots to help pin it down. I'll do the same for the other corner. Now let's adjust our front and get it tight. So now we've got the basic setup completed. It's just a slip knot on that tree, about knee height. And I run it a little bit higher on this end. I ended up using a trucker's hitch to get it tight. We've got some debris in there, got this wrapped around it, got a toggle, same with the middle. For the corners, I used a branch and I took advantage of the offshoots to help pin it down. Same thing over here, it helps pin this trash bag more secure and the same with that corner. So that's pretty good for a trash bag. Now, it's going to be cold. We're going to want to insulate this, get these edges covered up, and start stuffing debris inside there. So it's going to get down to about 28 tonight, even though it's 70 right now. Now I've piled debris around it. I've kind of closed in this open side. Of course I can keep adding debris as needed. I left a little opening here on the side because of course I brought one of my other seeds, combustion. I'm going to build a fire about right here. Far enough away not to melt that plastic. But I'll get some radiant heat from that tonight. And that could be a lifesaver depending on the temperature. But I've thrown leaves inside there. So I've got lots of ground insulation and insulated the best I can on the outside. Build a fire right here and we should be able to survive the night. Let's crawl in there. A side sleeper it's very comfortable can pile some more leaves right here got that fire about four feet away yep this is gonna work well the goal tonight will be staying dry if it rains and if it's not raining keep that fire going That'll provide great warmth. So I should be alright either way. Well, thanks for watching Survival Theory. Be sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.